So hey guys, how's it going and welcome back to the channel. I'm Sen, I'm a fourth year Cambridge medical student and today we're going to be doing some quantitative reasoning for the UCAT. A lot of you have been requesting study with me style videos where I go through my own reasoning for certain answers. Of course, not all the answers will be correct and that is part of the learning process for the UCAT. So hopefully this video is useful and let's get to it. Opening up the quantitative reasoning section on Medify, we're going to get straight to it. So first question, I'm not going to read any of the stuff up there, I'm going to go straight. In 2011, 306 people passed the bar from Cardozo. Okay, Cardozo, if 360 people sat the exam, what was the pass rate? Okay, that's the percentage. So let's get the calculator up. Simply 306 divided by 360. 85%. So using the on-screen calculator is key. How many people failed at NYU in 2012? NYU, number of pupils, pass rate 2012, 94, that's 6%. So 0 0.06 times 366 is equal to 21.96. So again, to round up to 22. How many more pupils passed at Columbia in 2011 than 2012? So Columbia, 2011 than 2012 but they were the same pass rate percentages no difference actually no you can't tell because this only gives the number of pupils in 2012 and the number of pupils in 2011 may have been different so the answer we can't tell which law school passed the greatest number of pupils in 2012 okay so here we need to do some quick maths so um let's just do let's clear this so 359 multiplied by 0 0.96 that's 344.64 then we have um, 366 times let's do 94 344.04 again the calculation I'm doing I'm just okay it can't be Cornell for sure 418 times 91 380.38. The reason I'm doing 91 is because there's no point in typing 0 0.91 because I know the decimal place is just going to move over by 2 anyway. Um, and let's clear that. 420, uh, 420 times 90. 378. Um, so the answer is Fordham. Next. Let's mark it. should be great all of them were correct the last question I took 74 seconds the mean time was 48 seconds okay so I took a bit longer um, but the other questions okay slightly longer than average okay this one was under um, the average time this question okay again 36 seconds when the average was 44 that was pretty good let's do some more of these questions uh, quantitative reasoning okay great the table shows merchandise sh sold in a clothing shop. Great. Uh, employee discount, supervisor, manager discount. Fantastic. What's the average price of skirt? Purchasing a skirt and a top individually. Skirts are here. Tops are here. The average price of s purchasing a skirt and a top individually. So I'm just going to work at the average price of the tops, average price of the skirts, and add them together. So let's just do 799 no, 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 plus 799 plus 999. Divide by three, that's £8.65, and then um, £12.99, add £14.99, add £14.99, divide that by three, that's £14.32, that's £22.97, £22.98, that's close enough. Is it cheaper to buy an outfit bundle? rather than the individual splatter outfit. So, um, one outfit bundle, $19.99, individual splatter. Yes, it is. It's, yes, how much is it cheaper? So that's 10, that's 25 99 that's 24 pound 98 because that's one pence off the full number. Whereas here I'm paying 19 So I'm saving four pound 99 doing that. Tosin buys a skirt bundle and a floral top. Okay. 
she's an employee at the store. Okay, so she bought a skirt bundle, 33.99. So let's do 33.99 plus a floor top, which is 7.99. But she has an employee discount, which is 35.5%. So we need to multiply this. So 100 minus 35.5 is equal to 64.5. Times up by 64.5 divided by 100, which should be 27 pound and 8 pence. Yeah. The math is, the decimal places are wrong, but that's where it helps her. Um, okay. What's the most expensive purchase from the list below a supervisor could afford with the money an employee would spend? A supervisor. A supervisor. Okay, so. We said they spend twenty-seven pounds zero seven. Is that what we said? Yep. Um, so this is annoying. So the supervisor gets a bigger discount, fifteen point seven percent more. So what we need to do? That's ah oh man. Okay, so the budget is um, £54. So a top bundle and a floral top for a skirt. Yeah, they can afford that. Two outfits and a floral skirt. So two outfits and a butterfly top. Um, that's pretty expensive. It's about £41. The skirt bundle, that's cheap. Three outfits. Yep, that's pretty expensive, but thirty-four fifty-nine plus um, seven ninety-nine. That's thirty-four. This is still more expensive. Two skirt bundles. Two skirt bundles. No, so the top three outfits is the most expensive. Let's mark that. Okay, that was all correct, but it did take us quite a lot of time. Okay, no, I had to do that question twice. Um, a bit longer than this one than average. This one time was a bit more than average, a bit less than average. That's about right. All right, let's do a bit more. Um, yikes. Any question? Narrow it down to top six choices, okay. Top six choices. That included a bus pass is thirty pounds a month, a library pass is twelve pounds a month, she needs pass as a membership, gym membership is ten pounds a month. A student discount on a library pass and ten percent on a bus pass. Cater herself is fifty pounds per week. If any could choose to rent room five, how much does it pay for six months? So okay. Great. Um so rent room rent five six months weekly rent is 140 so we need to do 140 times 24 and 40 times 24 that's 3360 and then is the catering there no so that's 55 times 24 that's another one we need to add um, and bus pass is included, library pass is, in, is not included. So library pass is £12 a month, but she gets 12%, 20% off. So library pass is not included, so library pass can be purchased for £12 a month, but that's a 20% discount on that. So £12 times 0.8. So the library card is 9.6 times 24, £9.60 per month. Oh no, that's per month. That's times by six and fifty-five. Is okay, great. Okay, cool. So what's um, fifty-five times twenty-four? 
that's 1320, then 9.6 times 6 is 57.6, then you did 57.6 plus 1320 plus 33360, that's 473760. Great. Assuming she wants to use all of the management services facilities, is room three cheaper or room six cheaper per month and by how much per month? Room three or room six? Okay, so let's do room three. Um, that's 40 times four is 560 in rent. Um, it's not catered, so 55 times four, but that's the same cost, so we need to consider that. Uh, room three, okay, everything's included. Okay, room six, the rent is 120 times four, which is 480. So the difference in rent is 80. And also we need to work out the cost of um, the bus pass, library pass, and gym membership. So, um, what is the calculator? Bus pass is 30 pound a month. That's about 30 plus 80. And then 20% um, on the library pass. The library pass I said earlier was £9.60 with a 20% discount. And actually, bus pass is £27. Gym membership is £10. So it's 90 out of 27 is 117 plus 9.6, which is 22, um, 6.60. So 22, so £226.60. That should be correct. No, that's wrong because what month per month? Yes, eighty is the difference per month and the rent. Twenty-seven. Again, the food doesn't make a difference. Twenty-seven is the addition of the bus pass. Library pass is nine pound sixty. And gym membership is ten pounds. So what's wrong with that? It's like a hundred and oh wait. It's eighty and then the calculation wrong. That's that's silly. Thirty seven uh, nine pound sixty is forty six sixty. So the difference actually is thirty three pounds forty. So the cheaper room is um, room six. What is the average cost of rent plus food per month? Average cost of rent plus food per month. So food is fifty five two twenty per month. Actually. Um, Okay, so what we need to do is just add together that and divide it by 6. So, to do 170, that's catered, so that's need to add, I need to add um, 55. So 170, add. 165, add. 140 plus 55 is 195, add. 230 add again 195 add 175 enter divide up by six that's the average cost times four seven five three thirty three that's close enough i think that's going to be the answer anika rented room four for a week okay room four um she realized she did not like the university's catered food decided to make her own food thus she rents room three for the next week what is the percentage change in her living cost from first week to the second? So room four. Okay. Okay. And she goes to room three. So she saves ninety pounds, but she spends fifty five. So the change is thirty five pounds. And a total cost is two thirty, so the change will be the difference divided by the original price. So thirty five divided by two thirty is fifteen point two percent.
decrease indeed <coughs> if any could choose as room one yes Tabasta could only cost 55 pounds per trip but no discount for room to university as room one is much closer how many maximum trips can you make so her bus pass for a month is 30 pounds a month um, 30 pounds a month that's with a discount usually so there's 27 pounds um, so what we need to do is just work out 27 or well, let's do 27 that 2700 divided by 55 that's 49 trips Brilliant. And that will be a lower, lower cost let's mark the test gosh these questions took quite a bit of time okay, all of them are correct it would take quite a bit of time for them as um, you know, it's not really a deal all right let's do one more one more set of questions um okay food store pie chart which is the proportion of the food in the store okay what what percentage of the total fruit sold are bananas so bananas are 30 32.4 so simply 360 degrees is the whole thing so 32.4 divided by 360 is 9% because 0.09 times 100 is 9 um salesman sold 450 pieces of fruit in total so 450 pieces of fruit is 360 degrees so um, 450 divided by 360, so 1.25 fruit per degree. Um, how many pairs are sold? 57.6, so times this by 57.6, 72 pairs. Great. If 200 fruit pieces of fruit were sold in total, oranges cost 45 pence each. What was the total cost of oranges sold? So again, 360 is the full circle. So we're going to do, um, let's do 1.8.8, 1 divided by 360 times 200. Oh no, it doesn't work. Sorry, my calculation was wrong. 1.8.8 divided by 360 times 200 equals 66 times Pence, so 20, 29 pounds 70. One click, click, click. Assuming, five, assuming you have 500 pieces of fruit, which is in total, how many apples? Are, how many more apples are sold than mangoes? So, apples was 86.4 degrees. That was 64.8. Let's just quickly. So, 86.4 minus 64.8, 21.6 degrees. Um, okay, let's slow it down. So what we need to do is divide 21.6 by 360, then multiply that by 500, and we should get 30. So 30 more apples are sold than mangoes. Right. Let's mark that and see how we did. Aye, 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 aye. Fantastic. All correct. Yep, 19 seconds. 25, 25 seconds compared to 32, which is average. Um, 42, okay, it took a bit longer in this question. Um, my calculation is one as fast then. And 37 seconds compared to 44, that's pretty decent. So, um, I hope this video has been useful. Um, you got to see how I was thinking, how I did some questions. Um, of course, I made some mistakes here and there, and sometimes I didn't make silly mistakes. But I think the key thing is, if you notice, I didn't actually read all of the text. I went straight to the question, looked for what information the question actually was looking for, then went back to the data, looked in the data for the specific section where the information the question was asking about, then read that off, use it in my calculation. Don't bother understanding all the data before you do the question, because simply in the UCAD, you do not have time for that. So anyway, hopefully that was very, very helpful. And if you did like it, please do give this video a like. But as always, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys soon in the next video. Bye-bye.